Hi, this is English Conquistador, ironically playing as the Germans, and we are doing in this episode the invasion of North America. Okay, so we have 20 days to win a gr if we're going to have a great victory and obviously 50 medals. 28 days to win, so pretty much it's the same specific timeline. And it should be, we'll probably have slow progress at first, and then we'll start moving swiftly. Um, okay, 86. Get very low supplies at the start, but I mean, a decently powerful army. And plus, you're, if you can, as you can see, okay, he does not speak good English. <laughs> Alright, so you have like all of, a part of a can Canada under your control. And then the Americans are divided into three subcategories. So these people, this category probably won't fight much. They're boxed in by their colleagues on the side and then this naval fleet. Um, so these are the guys you're going to be fighting for the start. And you're going to try and leave like a border here so that these guys can't come in. What happens is, is these guys will generally, once their fleet moves, they will... Uh, start attacking the Japanese here and like all their guys will come out and you can just totally wipe them out with hard with scarce a fight and then these guys will be a little harder to defeat but usually they'll be fighting up here so then the the war will probably end around up here somewhere Canada is pretty much a pushover I mean don't worry about them too much they're not that big a deal so it's not really as hard as you think and then we have Italian allies who will land like right around here and they're they're pretty much worthless but they help occupy the Americans while you can take out, while you take out some Canadians in this area, Maine, you know. So, I'm just going to dig right in. Uh, most of our units have solid uh, training. I mean, obviously we're attacking North America. But, um, so that. Oh, you got to be kidding me. How did that? But whatever. All right. So actually, this is similar to the Conquest, and if you play that, you can generally get a lot of medals. Let's see, I mean, I just got a couple medals there, but, okay, I'm going to move this tank down, and I think what I'm going to do is, now let's see, there's a air to aircraft, okay, so there's no, I'm just going to put down an armored car, because the last thing we need and I mean the last thing, is an irritating battery attacking us. I mean, that's just ah, so irritating. And then you can never get at them. So when you have the chance to do it, even if you lose, if you have to buy an armored car to do it, which you probably will, they don't come cheap anymore. Um, let's put on, I think it's deficient in several things. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. I mean, I've played this campaign before, even though I hadn't. I'd restarted the game, but... Okay. That's probably good. See, I think that's all... That's the only territory we control. You can't play as the Japanese. And you probably don't even really want to. I mean, they're facing... The Canadians and the... Americans. And then they, like, come here and they fight, so... Anyway, I'm gonna cut out the intermittent footage because... Because if I didn't, it would be just immeasurably long... So, in a bit. Okay, so it's turn two. And we lost a unit. I think it was a sold. Well, what was it? I think it was just a infantry unit. So not that big, not very significant. Okay, we're going to make a tank stack on Ottawa. And if I said that wrong, I'm sorry, Canadians. All righty. I did a solid job of doing that. I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see here. I might just leave that that way, the way it is. Just because, I don't know. I'd have to move two tanks out, and I don't really have that much. Uh, we might build up a little bit of this infantry, or industry, just... 
as we can. Oh, wait a minute. Canadians are attacking us from behind. How cowardly, I tell you what. And sorry, Canadians, if you're watching this. I know I'm fighting against your country, but please forgive me. All right. Yeah, that's probably good. I don't know if I want to continue or not. Just gonna like do as much damage. Okay, probably put put your top unit on top. In this case, my general tank, which is super awesome. And we'll probably have a turn flip. And our turn is here again. I think. Um, if any of you know Patton. Sorry. If I, that's not him. <laughs> okay. Moving on. See what I mean? The Canadians are a pushover in this map. There's not much to... They're very weak. And ineffective. kind of just doing a war of attrition right now wiping out as many american forces as you can as we can and really this they're super weak i mean there's they don't have much of a chance anyway okay let me think here probably put my top unit at the top although i might try and take over Ottawa, although that might not be a good idea. I don't think they're doing that much damage. Okay, um, put on Ace Forces to reduce some health there. Um, we're going to move Artillery there, as well as some helpful things. Okay. Boom. Oh, shoot, I didn't quite defeat it. Oh, there's another one. you got to be kidding. Well, at least we have a rocket battery. That's good. Okay, and maybe I'll build up my cities. Okay. Next turn. Okay, we're back. Hmm. So, just a couple developments. Down here, the Italians are preparing a landing, and they will actually be able to land. So that's distracting the Americans. And could, it's probably going to prove pretty costly because then I'm going to be coming from the north. They're going to have no, no defense against me. <laughs> oh, sweet fight. This is awesome. Okay. Got that. Let's do that. Okay, so the Canadian army is pretty much in tatters at the present. We are merely finishing off what remains. And actually, you know what? I'll do that. Let's do that. I would move this guy out, but I'm going to wait till this tank moves. They're pulling all their forces east because they got issues with uh, the uh, Japanese in Alaska. Which is odd enough because they actually, the Japanese actually did take Alaska, which is impressive, actually. Although, when you think about how weak the American forces were, maybe it's not that impressive. I don't know. Okay, let's give them a little bit of a thud. Okay, so my these forces are like my main my main tank is like as powerful as it's gonna get. So we're just gonna have to upgrade another unit to give it more life. Because if I would lose one of those, it would be I mean it wouldn't be like disastrous, but it wouldn't be very good. It wouldn't be good at all. Um, let's see. Now what I want to do. I think I'm just going to let this turn flip. And then next turn, hopefully we'll take New York and potentially DC, depending if they move this tank off. If they don't, maybe not. But um, And we're going to take Toronto pretty soon here. Just as soon as I can get the tank to go over there. I think I'm going to actually put industry on Ottawa. So that will really help my tanks regain health. Okay. Probably time for another turn flip. 
the, see the Japanese are getting whipped. And eventually, these this uh, American will probably take this island. I, I'm not really even sure what it is. Maybe Hawaii? Well, it's not very accurate. But whatever it is. Um, and I, it might not even be ge geographically accurate. I don't think it is, actually. But anyway, so... The Japanese have Alaska, but they're going to lose it to the Canadians. Although they're they're not going to be out of the game immediately. they got a huge fleet, which is helpful. And they have uh, some stacks of units that are going to be in here for a while. And they all, I mean, obviously, look at this huge fleet. Although they're losing that ship pretty soon. So these guys will soon move out and just start attacking the Japanese fleet. Which I don't think ever does get defeated. I mean, this is massive. So it's not in danger of being defeated. Anyway, next turn. Turn five. Okay. Only the daredevil can survive. Well, that's an interesting concept. I think that's MacArthur. Okay. Alrighty. Making, taking some, I mean, you know, taking a little damage. So this, we're having that, that's being held off for a little bit, but, hmm. I don't think I can take DC, and even if I did take it, I'd probably lose it again, but. Let's start, get the Americans a little on the edge. I left these tanks here to regenerate, because we got a massive... Industrial base and plenty of parts and whatever and whatnot. Anyway, probably gonna move this one here, that ship there, just in case they decide to make a landing. Anyway, next turn. Okay, turn six, and we have a solid and actually we have a pretty good industrial base now. We're making some progress in that regard. Okay, gonna move these tanks out, even though they're not fully hay healed, but can't ask for everything. Okay, so I did make, or I did lose some important infrastructure. Let me actually put that there. And let's use that like that. Let's put that there and knock out that tank. So now we're making a landing here, and this is important because you're going to have to, you're going to easily be able to take territory. There's no troops here at all. So you should probably be able to take all these industrial centers and even this one. They're all they're super easy to take. They just totally abandon them for whatever reason. But okay. Okay. We may not we're not gonna be able to take DC this turn. I'm just making some preliminary attacks. And they're I mean they're weak, but not weak enough to do that. Okay. I think I'm going to put my big tank on top. So as you can see, we're making progress against these guys. But now we're going to have a kind of a dual uh, purpose assault force. So basically right now, we're having, uh, we're landing here, just making some preliminary landings. Basically, I think all they have here is maybe an infantry unit and uh, a rocket battery. So that'll be easily easy to dispose of and then you'll begin to just conquer all this without with practically no opposition they're they're way too busy fighting the canadians and that canada doesn't have that powerful an industrial base i mean what they got this city this city a couple little minor establishments this one this one and they did take uh, anchorage i think although they lost that to the canadians so yes yeah, so it's not really they're massive but they don't have much of a base i mean it's simple enough 
So they're still fighting, fighting off the Italians down here. It's just stupid. They have all the, the Italians have taken like this area, probably like Maine and present day United States. It's ridiculous. I mean, whatever. But anyway, next turn. Turn seven. And we got, what is it? 13 turns until we have to win. So right now we have a little bit of a Canadian incursion. Uh, we're going to leave that guy there, I guess. I think we can take, no, not quite. Anyway, it's it's simple. I mean, easy to dispose of. There's nothing really in big, in uh, jeopardy. Okay, now we're starting to. I think this will be New York. We'll take New York this turn, and that'll almost cripple. That'll pretty much cripple the opposition. And there's New York. Just walk down uh, Times Square. Okay, we're going to put anti-aircraft batteries on that. Because we got this pesky ship, and he can do damage. I mean, you want to you see someone do damage? Look at him. He's nuts. Okay, we're actually going to put another infantry unit here. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're going to focus on another aspect. I mean, this is important, but we're going to make a... I did that because I could. <laughs> As you can see, uh, I think it's Grandi has taken over that. But then we have this, some Italian ships, and then this is the last U.S. Navy on the Atlantic, or U.S. force on the Atlantic. I was wrong here, actually. They have a tank underneath that rocket battery, but he's damaged. However, that's not going to really quell us much. Oh. Forgot. I gotta take this, and we are going to take a major city. Oh, what do the Canadians think of that, huh? Now that's gonna leave a scar. You wait. That's that's this is the turning point here. Uh, I don't think there's much use in. Uh, we're just gonna do that. I'm gonna lose that unit. It's not that big a deal, but okay. So. To recap, the Italians have distracted the Americans and are making them deploy a tank, which is actually getting defeated. They do have one ship left, but once once we defeat this, that'll go out. So we're not even going to mess with it. It's way too powerful. Uh, they have a couple units. They have three units left, these Americans. Plus, I guess plus their ship, so four. But that's not, we're not like I said, we're going to ignore that. Anyway, next turn. Turn eight. 12 turns till completion of this mission. So we are kind of experiencing, I mean, we're taking a little bit of a loss at this here. So we're going to throw a supply line out. It'll be helpful. Boom. Okay. So I should be able to take DC this turn. There it is. Okay. Put out an infantry unit. So these guys are pretty much out. We're not going to broach this line immediately. Because as you can see they're starting to put on some uh, sea carriers on these units. And once those leave it's just going to be a, a mop up. I mean we're easily going to defeat that. And then we'll have which we'll easily take over cities and won't have hardly any impact at all. So that's kind of the strategy there. Um, here as you can see we've kind of mopped up the one Canadian force that kind of tried to make a bit of a, a move towards us. So we're actually going to take this airfield just to, because they, I think, as I recall, they probably have a, or Nimitz probably has a pretty good air medal. I don't want to have any loss, take any losses from that. I probably will take a little bit from here because I don't think this area has a anti-aircraft battery, but. Such are the fortunes of war. Okay, next turn. Nine, turn 9 out of 20. Or 28 if you're not going for the 5 medals, but I am. So, Okay, so we have a tank that moved offshore. Uh, shoddy decision, if you ask me. But then again, I guess he is pretty incompetent. That he, I mean, he lost that much from a... Uh, 
poor opponent, but whatever. I'm not here to judge. Well, kind of, but, you know. <laughs> All right. So we got some just minor installations that we can take over here. We're going to start conquering as much of this territory without broaching that one, that last line here, because we went like this all to remain intact. So these territories you can't take. Unfortunately, we can't take Chicago. See, that's kind of irritating. It would be helpful to take Chicago because it's got 28 uh, supplies and 15 other stuff, but whatever. It's not that big a deal, like I said. And I keep saying that, but I mean it. So, there. All right, just taking over some more Canadian cities. We need to start turning the tide of war in the Canadian sector in our favor. I know the Japanese have taken some. And they're doing better than they were. But they're not doing the best right now. Actually, flip that out. I want this guy to take out this unit. Because he's undoing everything I did. It's, ah, bugger. Come on. There we go. That's out. Okay, we're moving this guy out because I've got issues. As in resistance. Okay, so that's probably that for now. And as you can see, they're moving out. They're just going to leave. I mean, it's so awesome the way they do that. It's hilarious. They give, they give them a sector of the United States to defend, and they just desert. It's like, what? Anyway, so next turn. Okay, turn 10. And we see, as you can see, our supply rate is going up dramatically, which is very important because we do need it. We need every bit of it. Um, okay. So you're not going to want to take that territory because that kind of blocks out the line there. But um, Probably going to get rid of this guy if we can. That ah, good. And you don't even need any health for these guys because they're just taking over unoccupied territory. So that's a benefit, definitely. Okay, that is going to get retaken, so we're just going to... He's mad, but just... You know, in real life, I probably wouldn't have done that because we kind of need the Japanese, but, and they're helpful in this campaign, but I, 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 I give up, I mean, I say, yeah, they are helpful, but not, they're not worth it enough for now. I mean, I need their territory. That will help. Okay. So now we're prepared. See, look at all those units moving out. And more are going to come. See, they're going to move that, and this is going to go out. So we'll probably just have, like, take out this tank there. And here it's just completely abandoned. I mean, that's that's crazy. But the one thing you want to avoid is you want to have enough supplies that you can block out the coast so they can't re-land. Because then it's pointless. I mean, you could have just landed when they weren't out. So anyway, we're going to move that guy back there. And we're going to start spamming these to start taking out start getting serious about taking out these ter this territory um, make a, I could put a tank there actually but maybe that wouldn't be the best idea I don't know you know what I should have oh well never mind what's done's done okay and we'll put another one of these out and this one I don't even need any sold art on I'm just going to try to take territory with Okay, That's got, that guy's going to get killed, but thankfully there's enough cushion between here and there that I can reinforce or put more troops on. Okay, next turn. Okay, it's turn 11, and I'm actually going to, I think I might actually do something I haven't done in a while, or ever, I don't think, in this campaign. I'm just going to broach this line and leave these guys, kind of make a, leave a little bit of a path there, and that way I can take Chicago and start... Uh, taking over the practically unoccupied territory of this guy. And plus, I've already made contact with him, so it's not like I, I'm gaining anything by not. Okay, that's that. Okay. Keep defeating them. Um, hmm. I probably need to send another guy up there. So maybe I'll put artillery here. Just stick him out there. Okay, now, let's see here. 
I need to defeat that guy desperately. Cause he's he's like the only thing standing between me and the Can conquest of the Canadian Peninsula. Or Peninsula. Great land mass, I should say. Okay. There. And you know what? Maybe I'll just do... Move another infantry unit up there. I don't want to lose this territory. I mean, it's, it's a significant outpost there. All right. So we're going to just bypass this area. And if I accidentally... You know what, I'm gonna save just in case I accidentally broach that. I do not want to. I do not want that to happen. That would be horrible, and I mean horrible in the literal sense of the word. Well, maybe not that bad, but anyway. Enough talk. Action. Okay, we'll probably leave that that way. Everything's pretty much good. We're just leaving behind completely unoccupied territory. Well, I mean, the Italians are there, but you know what that means. Not much. Okay, so we don't want to take these two either, because that'll allow them to broach with these troops. And that would be hurtful to our war effort. Harmful, I should say. Okay, so the, the Japanese are more or less defeated. They have one island left. It's really poor. but So it's mostly um, upon us to finish it. We've actually come pretty far. I'd say we're like half done. And I think we're on, what, what did I say, turn 11? And so that's about right. It's turn 12. And we keep taking enemy installations. So it's we're just getting more and more resources as we go. So it's so, super fun, actually. It's kind of compelling, I should say. Or it's kind of compelling. I don't, know. I don't know if I should say it or not. But. All righty. So I've never done this bypass thing. I don't know how it'll work. I mean, I've done a bypass, just not this one. Okay. So it makes it harder to, I mean, we they still have units offshore. So if we could completely defeat them, it would be a lot easier and help more helpful. But I don't think that's really a viable option right now. So that, I think this, there goes that tank. Oh boy, that is breakthrough. That is, that's in breakthrough area. Okay, let's get a infantry unit and just take out this artillery. And now it's just smooth sailing pretty much. Um, I mean, how much damage can a thing like that do? I guess it's enough to make, do at least a little, I guess. Um, okay, so the Italians are going to take this area, so I'm not even going to mess with it. There's no point in putting a, spending $75 messing with it. Okay, so now we're just going to start taking out infantry units, or doing infantry, and just kind of trying to spam and get as much conquered as possible. Because this is the area where you really got to make some conquering progress. You got to move if you're going to win in time. I mean, don't get stressed. Don't get stressed. But it's important. Okay, so now... we I I think I've tried this tactic before. I'm basically going to broach like one area here. So these guys will just drain and they'll start moving this way because the AI is stupid. So they'll start moving towards that area and then I'll just be able to sweep. Because right now all they have is this area here and they already have enough troops there to probably take it. So that's another thing. You do need to, uh, you can't airlift troops onto here. You have to actually uh, send them via ship. And I think that's one thing in previous campaigns that has been irritating. Save. Okay, I think this was pretty much what I was going to do this turn. Don't really have any extra units to move. I'm out of money. So let's do next turn. Okay, it's turn 13. We have seven turns to win. I feel like, how am I going to do that? But I've done it before, I think, so it's not that. It isn't as significant a milestone as one would think. Okay. Okay, that rocket battery's out of here. 
All right, let's start making. And each turn, you become more powerful because you take more uh, stuff, installations and whatever, industry, and you take more cities and you have more power. And power. You get more power lust, I guess. Anyway, so that's that. We're starting to cut the Canadians down to size. And that's a significant task. I mean, you know how big Canada is. It's big. It's big. Now, we may build a tank, although that would take a lot of resources, but we're going to do it because there's a tank here. And everyone knows you have to fight fire with fire, at least in war. So, we're going to put on entrenchment. I'm spending a lot of money on this because I think it's important. But you don't necessarily have to, but probably do if you want to win. Or you could just not take my advice at all and just do this yourself. Which you probably could win. I mean, it's not that hard of a campaign. It's just overwhelming. It's just, it's just huge. A massive map. Okay. So we haven't quite managed to get these guys to leave. Although they have somewhat, as you can see. I mean, the, this guy, it would be best if he would leave. Because he's a massive, I mean, that's a big tank. That's a... The most powerful German or American tank. I mean, it's... You don't want to be at the... You don't want to be facing that thing in battle. You don't. All right. Next turn. Okay, turn 14. So now we're pretty much... I'm, I'm thinking that maybe it's best just to try and take this territory, even though they have a powerful uh, army. But it had... I mean, it's somewhat diminished because they've... Worked on campaigns outside of their territory, but okay, so I broached that. We're gonna reunite our tank forces just outside this city. And rocket batteries, although I don't know if they're in range. Probably not. Okay, defense art. Don't want to waste money I don't need. That's all we're using. Okay, put the guy on here because he can shoot back artillery. And there we go. So Making some progress here. Ooh. We took significant losses from that enemy tank. But you know what? I beat him. So it was worth it. So worth it. Okay. So the Canadians are practically defeated, actually. I didn't even think that would go that fast. I thought they'd be the last people in the game. And they could still be. If I make a mistake. I don't think they will. Okay. Could be worth well. No, we'll wait till next turn. Especially because they're probably gonna land. Um, that's that. Stop back there. Make a running stop. Okay. Move this guy up here. We're just gonna use this guy to take over territory, pretty much. And that's that. Boom, that's out. Okay. Now we have a huge army here. Um, I may try and just take over the city quickly before they have opportunity to build forces. And it could actually... See, I could see... Oh, no, I'm not going to succeed. That's irritating. They have a retrenchment there, so I would need a tank to make, to make any significant impact. Just over the course of a couple turns. So I'm going to build a tank there. And. Yeah. We're not going to be able to take it. But. I tried. So. I get an E for effort. Alrighty. That's that. This guy has not moved the entire game. He's probably bored. Okay, next turn. Okay, it's turn 15, and I'm going to make a save here. Just in case I need to go back and finish it. Or if I make a mistake, who knows? Probably will. Anyway. Okay, that city is ours. We're just going to finish off this guy. He has his territory here, but the Italians will take him out next turn. And actually, Nimitz got defeated, so... You know, that's it's so weird. Why is Nimitz in the Atlantic? That does not make any sense. Go and go back in history and read where he... I mean, he was the Pacific hero. 
Not the Atlantic, whatever. <sighs> Historical accuracy to boot, man, whatever. Okay, so we're making some significant progress against these guys. Uh, can we reach that city? No, we can't. Shoot. Alright, we're just going to take that. Okay. Put industry down. And... Okay, that city is ours. Okay. Now. Got a little bit more to do. I think, actually, the Canadians might go out this turn. Yep. Defeated. Okay. So now I hold all of Canada. Isn't that a scary thought? I mean, not, not for you, but for, for my enemies. But anyway. Oh, wait. Let's put down like two here. Just in case he gets over much power. Uh... Sorry about that. Okay. Do I have the nuclear bomb? No, I don't. Man. Probably just going to use this guy to beat that big tank. That's the only thing. He's just really powerful, so it's irritating. You're, you're like, question, should I defeat him this way or that way? How should I do it? But anyway. Two, let's build some more of these. Because we need to take back Midway. That's, do not forget that. I've done that before, and it, oh, maddening. Oh, boy. You have no idea. Um, you have, like, everybody else defeated, and you don't get your 50 medals because you have, you don't have midway. I mean, that is the most, imp oh, man, that's so irritating. I was so miffed when that happened. But, but I'm telling you so you don't make the same mistake, because if you did, then you'd be miffed, too. Alrighty, just this area to conquer and midway with five turns remaining, so I don't think I'll need to use my essays unless I make a mistake. Oh, and then this guy, yeah, the, well, the Italians will take him out next turn, so next turn. Okay, turn 16 out of 20. Um, so these guys have made some pushback that was expected, not really, a, not really concerned about it at all. Um. So we're just trying to conquer all their territory, knock them out of the game. And actually, aside for that's the last territory that one of these guys holds. So, okay, we're going to make another save here just because I'm worried about Midway. <laughs> so, and it probably will happen that I'll have to go back because there's some big ships here and it's going to be hard to get a landing force. I'm going to make some airstrikes here. Ooh, that's a big tank. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get it. Okay. Well, I have enough turns that it won't matter too much. But Let's start moving this. I mean, that's a powerful tank there. That's sweet. Okay. So I got a three-pronged assault, and I'll probably use more airstrikes to get rid of these ships. So I think I'm fairly confident about that. If I fail, I can always go back and redo it. That's the benefit your enemies do not have. They can't go back and fix every, their mistakes. Which is kind of unfair, but this is war. I mean, all's fair in love. Right. Okay. We are going to do a supply line. This tank is just tougher than... Well, I don't even have a good, a good comparison. It's just tough. <laughs> okay. And I may actually be able to defeat these guys this turn. If I work at it. Uh, maybe not. Let's see here. Don't have enough for ace forces. So all I have enough for is... Inf or industry. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Next turn. Okay, turn 17 out of 20. So, just kind of to recap, we're within two turns of midway, of taking midway. And I'm probably going to use some airstrikes here, just as a precaution. Okay, put an armored car down. Kind of had a little outbreak there. Okay. Defeated. Oh, wait, not quite. Let's see here. Can I make... Yeah, this guy can reach. I just need, like, a big enough... I need something with enough power to knock him down to size, and then I can use my infantry to take him out. Okay, there goes a huge fleet. Did you see that? All of a sudden, just boom, all gone. That was cool. Okay. So now all of mainland USA is in my control, as is all of Canada. I just had that one island that started out as Japanese. All right, wait a minute, what's the weakest unit? I'm gonna put this guy on here. So he's the strongest, and we'll put him at the bottom and just hope he succeeds. Okay, oh actually that's a Japanese ship. How are they still in here? What the world? That is weird. I guess they don't, they just don't go out because of losing land, which is actually I think is, uh, because they only start out with like one territory or very few territories. So it's fair. Okay, next turn. Okay, it's turn 18 out of 20. Just need to make one quick move here. And this should be almost over. Assuming I am correct. And I assume I am. Okay. Now, I probably can't even get there in time. That was stupid. Anyway, we're going to make a, try and get rid of the ship this turn, because I can. And if I could, I would probably put a bomber there, or a bomber on Midway, but I can't, so that's unfortunate, but, okay. We're going to put a supply, oh, I can't quite do a supply line. Okay, because, um. I'm worried they're going to put, like, a, a troop down, and then I'm going to be have to fight one, but either way, I should be fine. And sure enough, they put a troop down, or a soldier down, but that's okay, because just need one, and you ready for it? Victory! That's 50 medals, and I actually did it one turn under the required 20. This is turn 19, so hope you enjoyed it. Victory! I said it prematurely. I should have said it when it said that. I did that. So you get a lot of medals for this thing. I got 36 just normal medals, and then I got 50 for completing it in 19 rounds. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like it. Please do. It helps a lot. And comment below and then subscribe. Thank you.